Hello learners, in the last session we tried to understand how wetlands form an important part of the larger wave of life existing on earth. In this session we will try to understand what are the threats which the wetlands are subjected to and how they can be saved from such threats through effective management and governance. Wetlands been considered to be wastelands that have been drained and leveled and filled to make room for farms, cities and industries. Even today, some wetlands continue to be points of garbage disposal. While ecologically, wetlands can help support water purification, we need to be careful about the wastes that flow into it. The laws in our country also support management of wetlands and prohibit their pollution. Let us now try to understand the threats that wetlands are subjected to. The various kinds of threats that wetlands face include The first type of threat is structural modification. Unsustainable extraction like converting a wetland to a non-wetland use. The second one is physical regime changes like changes in water inflow. Unsustainable harvesting of wetland resources like removal of more than the optimal amount of water, soil or species. Pollution from point sources such as domestic sewage and non point sources such as agricultural runoff containing harmful chemicals. An accidental introduction of invasive species. Climate change impact such as sea level rise. Any such threat or activity that impacts the wetland changes its features and thus limits its ability to function properly and deliver its ecosystem services. While such threats being introduced to the wetlands, wetlands need to be managed to ensure that their biodiversity is conserved. It should be ensured that the benefits they provide to human beings are maintained for the longer term. For this, it is essential that a well-defined strategy and actions are identified to keep the wetland healthy and that all the people who are dependent on it or protect it are engaged in the conservation. This ensures that the process of management of wetlands is sustainable. You must have heard about Ramsar sites. Creation of a Ramsar site is a part of the conservation plan for the wetlands. On February 2nd, 1971, in the Iranian city of Ramsar, the representatives of 18 countries put their signatures to the text of a remarkable treaty popularly known as the Ramsar Convention. It is still the only worldwide convention dedicated for the conservation of one type of ecosystem. Countries which join the convention commit to protect their wetlands and designate internationally important wetlands as Ramsar sites. As on today, 172 countries with more than 2,500 Ramsar sites are a part of this convention. Apart from the Ramsar Convention, there are several other international conventions and multilateral environment agreements wherein the contracting parties have made commitments regarding wetlands conservation. These are the Convention of Biological Diversity that aims at the conservation of biological diversity, the sustainable use of its components and the fair and equitable sharing of its benefits arising out of the utilization of genetic resources. The second one is the Convention on Migratory Species, which provides a global platform for the conservation and sustainable use of terrestrial, aquatic and avian migratory animals and their habitats. The third one in this regard is the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals this works to ensure conservation and sustainability of various life forms and their habitats. As you know, in India, wetlands spread across different types of landscapes, from the mountains to the floodplains and coastal areas. Some of these wetlands are inside the protected areas, such as the national parks, wildlife and bird sanctuaries, some are in urban areas, while others are even in agricultural lands. As per the characteristics of these wetlands, there are different provisions for the conservation of these different types of wetlands. Overall, the conservation of wetlands in this country is governed by the Wetlands Conservation and Management Rules 2017. Under these rules, each state 
or Union Territory has its own specific State Wetland Authority with technical and grievance committees. There is also a National Wetland Committee. Under these committees, experts of different backgrounds and officials of different departments work together to manage wetlands. Apart from the mentioned conventions, wetlands also receive protection from several other acts and regulations such as the Indian Forest Act of 1927, the Indian Wildlife Protection Act of 1972, the Coastal Regulatory Zone Notification of 2019, Indian Fisheries Act of 1897, the Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1974, the Biological Diversity Act 2002, and many others. Do you know which ministry of the government is responsible for taking care of the wetlands? Can you guess? Yes, it is the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change or MOEFCC that oversees the conservation of wetlands in India. The ministry has also been implementing a scheme called the National Plan for Conservation of Aquatic Ecosystems or NPCA which aims at the holistic conservation and restoration of wetlands for achieving the desired water quality enhancement besides improvement in biodiversity and ecosystem services. However, wetland conservation has also been integrated into plans, programs and schemes of various other ministries such as Jal Shakti, Rural Development, Housing and Urban Affairs. Wetland conservation duels on conservation and management actions from stakeholders and diverse strata of the society. There are many individuals and communities in India who led wetland conservation and management by example. There are many ways in which citizens can engage in wetland conservation and management. Do not litter, dump sewage and solid wastes into the wetland. Prevent others from doing so also. Be aware of wetlands in your neighborhood and motivate people to take care about these ecosystems. Generate awareness among people about the functions, services and values of wetlands. Organize and participate in community wetland cleanups. Launch and participate in various environmental awareness campaigns through workshops, folk dance, street theater, brochures, padhyatras, hoardings, etc. Reduce excessive water consumption and runoff by reporting it to the concerned authorities. Participate in the water birth census. Also, engage in citizen science initiatives related to wetlands. Document traditional wetland management practices and support their integration into management planning. Ensure that wetlands are not encroached and concretized. Engage with local authorities responsible for wetlands on management and monitoring aspects. Participate in discussions to retain and restore wetlands. Not only these, but the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, under its Wetland Conservation Program, has stressed the need to engage the local communities and volunteers from different walks of life to participate in wetland conservation. Along with these, the concept of wetland mitra has also been introduced. Now, what is a wetland mitra? It is the friend of wetlands, which can include local youth, students, farmers, conservationists, bird watchers, and the local communities. You too can become a wetland mitra by registering on the Wetlands of India portal. You have learned about the various aspects of wetlands, including what are wetlands, definition of wetlands, their types, how wetlands are formed, what are the benefits of wetlands, and how wetlands are interconnected into the larger web of life and the larger ecosystem. You also learned about the threats that wetlands face and the ways to conserve them and initiatives taken by the Government of India to protect and conserve wetlands. Follow-up exercises include name the various ministries and associated schemes or programs being implemented for the conservation and management of wetlands. Be as comprehensive as possible. Identify the Ramsar site closest to you and list the criteria that it fulfills for Ramsar designation. We hope that you enjoyed and have become more aware towards the wetlands conservation. Thank you.